Hi, my name is Ron Angela Palat from the SPAMM15 and I'm doing a video presentation about the project for SRDG1. This video is about the problems in the education system of the Philippines. Problems in the education system of the Philippines. First is the quality of education. Second is the affordability of education. And third, government budget for education. A nine-year-old admirer and his younger brother Cedric don't know if they're breaking the law. Neither of them can read or write. But instead of going to school, they spend their days scavenging to earn a living. There are tens of thousands of others like them needing to help their family survive despite primary education being mandatory in the Philippines. Quality education. Not an NCAA test for if way below the target score and the 2004 high school readiness. Thus, 8,000 out of 12 million examples pass. It is an assessment test for English teachers. 1,000 out of 51,000 teachers scored 75%. students who are studying to private and also public schools study well to make it up to your parents to whom working hard to sustain for your educational needs. Not that being in a classroom would give them much of one. Concerned educators say a lack of investment has hurt standards that Philippines spends just 2% of its gross domestic product on education. The World Bank recommended amount is 6%. So we have here affordability of education. Most dropout rates are in the elementary level. Statistics shows that of pupils entering grade 1, only 66% um, finish grade 6, 43% will finish high school, and only 20% will finish college. Education, as one of the most significant necessity for an individual, should be able to be available and that hand to anybody, especially to the youth. That it should remain affordable and quality oriented. And last is the government budget for education. Philippines has the lowest budget allocation among all the ASEAN countries. The government may allot its biggest budget allocation education, but it is still not adequate to sustain for the various educational needs. There are still some areas not reached by our government, like those in the mountain areas. They do not have a proper school, lack of classroom, and educational materials. Government should give priority to education. For the children who are studying today will be the hope for our future. Problems in education, system of the Philippines. Quality of education, affordability of education, and government budget for education. These are my topics. Created using Powtoon.